Hi guys. Uh, I guess we should have had an intro with a little bit more excitement, but it's our last day in the Azores and we're pretty bummed about it. If you guys don't remember, we have been on the Chris Howe and Lizzie Pierce photo course in the Azores with a bunch of other amazing creators and it's our last day here. We go home today. And we're also like pretty hungover, so that doesn't help either. We've spent the last week traveling the Azores with a bunch of other photographers and creatives and video creators, and we've had a wicked time. Here's a little peek of what that looked like. It was pretty awesome. And now it's home time. So yeah, clearly the trip was super wicked and we're pretty sad to go home. <laughs> I did cry, I'm laughing, okay? Oh, so the trip was awesome. We got here five days ago. We toured the entire island. We went whale watching. And today we finished it off with like an impromptu uh, trip to a haunted hotel, which was super creepy. Um, we learned a lot from a lot of the other creators here and even more from Chris and Lizzie. So we just wanted to sum up the trip and share some insight on what we learned from Chris and Lizzie. So I think the first major point was to be authentic. Lots of times when I'm watching YouTube and I'm watching Chris and Lizzie, they're like too nice. Like they project like a ton of positivity. And they're so full of energy too. So you wonder, are you putting on this for the camera or is this really who these people are? And, and a lot of the times I'm like skeptical. I'm like, no, they're just putting on for the camera. Who can be that upbeat and that positive all the time? And they 100% are. The Chris and Lizzie who we love to watch on YouTube is also the Chris and Lizzie that we spent this trip with. And that's pretty freaking cool. So I know it's really cheesy and you've probably heard it time and time again, but it's true. You have to be authentic, especially if you're gonna put yourself out on a YouTube channel like we are. Be you, because only you can be you. So another huge theme in the trip seemed to be about relationships and obviously networking is a huge business principle and creating meaningful connections with people along your journey. But for Chris and Lizzie, for some reason, it seems even more ingrained in them than that with the way that they interact with every tour guide, with every person that we met along the way and their ability to keep in contact with these people and build genuine relationships with them. It was something impressive to watch. So this is something that we definitely are gonna carry into our lives and keep some of the connections that even we made on this trip. We really want to tell you more about the trip, but first I really think we need a shower. And probably a nap too. Okay, so we're back. We're well rested, we're cleaned up, we're well lit. We can keep telling you about our wicked trip. And we're light lighting lit. And we're ready to tell you. The lighting is, good. it's good lighting. <laughs> so to continue on our last point about valuing relationships, one point that Chris and Lizzie had that really resonated with Chelsea and I is to treat your audience like real people. Every engagement, every like, every comment, every subscriber is a real person on the other end of the screen. So the way Chris put it is, imagine you're walking down the street and you show your phone to somebody and you say, hey, look at my photo. They could say a number of things. It's pretty nerve wracking. They could say, wow, that's a great photo. Or they could say, get away from me, you creeper. I'm trying to buy a coffee. So if they do say something nice about your photo, the polite thing to do would be to say something like, wow, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. That really means a lot to me. I put a lot of time into the photo. Respond with something meaningful. And probably not something like a heart emoji. And if they happen to say something mean to you, you could reply with something like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Chris and Lizzie have been really good about always engaging with their audience and talking to them on a personal and friend-like level. And that also showed in the way that they treated us on the trip. So next is positivity. I'd like to tell you that everything went right on this trip and that it was bright and sunny and we got all the landscape photos like these ones. But that wasn't the case at all. It was cloudy, it was rainy, it was windy. I don't know what else you could have thrown at us. Fog seemed to be the theme of the trip. It followed us no matter where we went. But despite all that, Chris, Lizzie, and the entire group had a great outlook on it. 
I don't even think we really even noticed the fog. Oh, of course, we noticed the fog. It was there right in our face. <laughs> but it wasn't like, oh my god, it's foggy. What are we going to do? Yeah. Everybody had a ton of fun, and we just used the fog to our advantage and got some really moody photos, yeah. like these ones. There was not a day or an opportunity that was wasted and everybody was all smiles the whole time and I think that that really stemmed from the energy and the positivity that Chris and Lizzie put out. Along with positivity comes the ability to laugh and really enjoy what you're doing. If you're going to dedicate the amount of time that it takes to be successful at something, you have to enjoy what you're doing. It's super obvious that Chris and Lizzie really love what they're doing and we were able to share in their enthusiasm and their excitement. And we laughed with them, like a lot. So just to sum up, we could have made this video about all the technical stuff that we learned while we were on the trip, made some points about shutter speed and aperture, blah, 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 blah. But the things that really stood out to us. Some of the bigger picture things that we learned from Chris and Lizzie and just observing them and watching them in their element. Those were the bigger takeaways. I know some of these Tips might have sounded a little bit cheesy and a little bit cliche, but they're honestly true. We didn't go to this trip and learn any YouTube or Instagram secrets that'll make you blow up and have a bunch of subscribers overnight. We learned the dedication that it takes and the dedication that we truly think that Chris and Lizzie possess, which is why they're so great to learn from. So thank you again, Chris and Lizzie and all of our Azores friends for an amazing trip. We will remember it forever and we love you guys so much. So thanks for watching guys. Please hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button so you can see new videos and we'll see you on the next one.